your host, HN Reacts. And if you're new, what it do, welcome to the crew. And today we got another video today and it's about our beloved Straw Hat Pirate. And not only is it not about the anime, which is crazy, it's about the live action. And we're gonna go our review of what we thought about the live action show. And wow, One Piece is just going crazy right now. From the episode that dropped yesterday, I think it's 1074 with Luffy versus Kaido and he's going crazy and all that. And the live action, all this One Piece content and even the manga apparently is going crazy right now too. Oh my God, as One Piece fans, we are blessed. I said it, and I said it before, like earlier, earlier in the year, I said 2023 is going to be One Piece's year. And has it been from ultra freaking, um, I'm trying to think, there's just so much content, everything we got, like even One Piece, like the games, like Bounty Rush, even the other game that's about to be great. Um, can't remember, I think it's Pirate Warriors where they're gonna drop gear five content. So One Piece has been killing it right now. And let's just get started about the live action so far. Man, that took me so off guard. I can't even tell you how it surprised me so much. Cause you know, there was so much speculation with live action animes, how it's just, you know, stigma. It's terrible. It's terrible. I don't know if you ever seen the Death Note one, completely utter trash. But I don't even think that's the worst one. I think the worst live action anime to ever exist was Dragon Ball Evolutions. Complete, utter garbage. That shouldn't even be made. I don't even know how it even got past the studios, got money to even create a budget. Goku was even Goku. He was some teenager in high school driving a car. Boma was even a Boma. She was some random adult Piccolo. I don't even know what the heck Piccolo was. He was just some random green mutation, whatever it was. Master Roshi was some like young, like older man, like in his like 50s or 40s. And I was like, nah, bro, this is trash. And as you know, there was just a lot of BS and a lot of stigma, a lot of people scared, but wow, did they shatter expectations. They shattered it so much. They did so good. It's even so good that it's trending in 50 countries as the number one series on Netflix right now. Netflix. I mean, what? I think it was even better than uh, Wednesday and Squid Games. I don't know about Squid Games, but it's definitely surpassed a lot of shows that were technically really good. I mean, because you got all the anime fans flooding in and you got non-anime fans that was talking trash, wanna watch it, now they're more curious about the story. And especially about the story, wow, did they go in their own direction and they did great. Cause I thought they were going to follow it scene by scene with everything going on in the actual anime, but they did their own thing, especially with the whole Kobe thing. Like Kobe wasn't even supposed to meet Luffy until, by the way, this is a spoiler. So if you have not watched it or if you don't care, Stay in the video. If you don't, leave. But someone like Kobe, right? He didn't meet Luffy until after Water 7, after everything happened. But Kobe is such a big part of the story where he's out there chasing Luffy and he's trying to tell Garp what's right from wrong. He's trying to figure out his own path. And he meets Luffy and Syrup Village with Usab and all them. And I'm just like, I was like, that's why I was like, oh, they're doing their own thing. Even, you know, Zoro's little backstory of how his life went with Kuna and how he's climbing out of a well when he gets thrown into a well and he gets knocked out by a glass. So it's just a lot of different things in the show, even Garp, right? Garp's like a usually carefree whatever guy. And in the show, he's very serious about catching Luffy and he kind of has this side where every time Luffy gets away, he's like losing his mind and laughing menacely. And I'm just like, wow, okay. Even just the actors too and how they embrace their own way of playing the characters. Like I like, how Usab is just, even though he's Usab, he's weird, he's goofy, he has his own different type of style in the show than in the anime. And I love that same thing with Nami too, where she was supposed to leave, you know, to give their treasure back to Arlong, but then she stayed and watched the Zoro fight, Zoro versus Mihawk, which that was fire, I'm not gonna lie. They killed that. They definitely killed that. Zoro versus Mihawk, what a fight. The only thing I would say, the only thing I would criticize just a little bit, I wish they made the Zoro actor cry. I wish they made him actually cry. You know, feel a little bit more emotion. Even with the, also too, even with the Sanji scene of Sanji leaving and joining the crew, I really wish they added the part where he got his hands and knees and he cried. He said, thank you for every damn thing that you've done for me, owner Jeff. So, but I understand. 
they still have their own vision. And I see why Oda liked it. And I see why a lot of people liked it because it's really nice watching something where, I mean, I don't mind rewatching shows. Like there's nothing wrong with it, but it's really nice rewatching a show and you kind of don't know what's gonna happen next because they're following their own direction. They're doing their own thing, it's great. Even the buggy fight was its own direction and they worked as a team to defeat Buggy because last time that was a one-on-one -on -one with Luffy. In the anime, they were just boxing. But in the show, Nami, Zoro, Luffy, they all worked together to beat Buggy and I like that. They had their teamwork, they had their coordination, they did their thing. Even on the boat, right, where Garp was throwing cannons at Luffy in the ship and Luffy did gumu gumu no, balloon for the first time he's like yo how did you do that he's like i don't know i didn't even know i could do that and so it's just nice having little surprises and the series is just great man it has a lot of things where i think they can actually add and be season two and that's why it's great because it's just season one season two oh yeah they're they're definitely gonna kill it in season two because this was just an experiment but a lot of people like it's getting good reviews season two it's gonna blow our minds it's gonna blow our minds with animation wise cgi the characters are gonna get more better and accustomed to acting. Cause you could kind of tell a little bit, the actors there, some of them are, this is their first acting gig or they just haven't been acting long. But now that they get the rhythm, they figure out, they're gonna become better and better and better and better over time. And it's just been a great series so far. Learning how these characters are, why they act the way they act, seeing how Oda had different views and seeing what he liked and putting into it. Like the whole love story, with Usopp and his girl, like, I didn't even know they were kind of a thing. I mean, I know they kind of liked each other in the anime, but in the show, they had a full makeout scene. And I was like, oh, so Usopp and his girls confirmed? Okay, so now I know where Usopp's gonna go after they find the One Piece. He's going straight to that village, Syrup Village, and having his family. Oh, it's gonna be so good, oh my God, man. I'm just really hyped to see where they go in direction. I'm really hyped for the two year time skip, what they're gonna do with that. How the characters, some of these characters are gonna have to get in shape. I'm not gonna lie, the Luffy actor, he's gonna have to get buff. The Zoro actor, eh, I mean, he's already kinda swole. Sanji's already kinda swole. Usopp. Usopp and Luffy's actor are gonna have to get swole for their next scene if they do the two year time skip, if they get that far. Cause that two year time skip, Usopp was. Mm. Mm. You know, Luffy, he like, you know, had a shirt, he was just like, swole too. So I'm like, oh my God, it's gonna be so much they gotta do. Like, even wondering how they're gonna be able to do Brook and Chopper. I know they're gonna be CGI, but I'm thinking with Chopper, they're gonna do how they did with Pikachu and kind of make him a Pikachu version of Chopper. But I wonder what they're gonna do when he gets all muscular. Is that gonna be CGI or is that gonna be different? Brook, I mean, his is not too bad. I can see Brooke, Frankie, that one's a very interesting one too. I feel like they're not gonna make him as like, you know, his arms massive, but I think they're gonna do that. Robin too, I wonder if they're gonna find a super tall girl to play Robin, cause apparently she's like 6'2". So I'm like, she better not be no Luffy hype, but like I said, so far so good. The series has been phenomenal. They've been doing a lot of different things and implementing their own action and their own adventure into the show and even the mary the ship looks freaking phenomenal even all the scenery in that show where sanji lived where the military base where luffy and zoro found each other so much usab's village they did so much arlong park they did so much detail in the show and it was so great they put a lot of hard work into it and i see why it's the number one show on netflix right now because of all the hard work and what they did for the show and making it interesting like, I was not expecting it. I think it was great. Honestly, out of all the live actions and like no meat riding, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Like, this is literally the best live action show ever. Ever. And I can legit say that because look, 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 look at its predecessors. Look, look at all Naruto. I think they did a, a Attack on Titan, which was terrible. Death Note, like I said, was terrible. Full Metal Alchemist. I don't know if that one was bad. That was like 50-50, but a lot of these shows, she even had a chance. But I definitely recommend if you haven't watched it, watch it. If you did enjoy the live action, tell me in the comments down below, what did you like about it? What do you want them to see? What do you want them to do? And we can just have a discussion and just go moving forward with it. So this is the end of the video. 
I hope you guys like it. Make sure to hit that like button. Smash it real bad, smash it. Hit that subscribe because we are doing daily and multiple weekly every minute anime content or just different reaction shows skits whatever you like man i am the provider you guys are the audience whatever you guys want i will follow because this channel is for you guys we're a family we're on the a train and you're the passengers i'm just taking you to to your de destination i know your destination so let's hop aboard the a train and let's go places peace